Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to install Shad PS4, the PlayStation 4 emulator for Windows, into a tracked mode front end. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So as I mentioned, we're going to be putting Shad PS4 into our attract mode plus front end. Uh, I haven't seen anyone do this yet, so I wanted to show you guys how to do it. It's pretty simple. First thing we're going to want to do is head to the links in the description. So the first link is to the Pax R Us website, and this is a fantastic website. When you get more time to look through, they've got themes in here, a whole bunch of different themes that they've created for you, as free builds. You scroll on down they've got another theme here what we're looking for right right here is front ends and plugins so this is a, a track mode plus version 3.09 build number 642 so you're going to want to click download and it's going to take you this link and you'll click download right here but i already have it next thing we're going to need from here is we're going to scroll down and you're going to see a basic layout maker version 2.1 C as of this video. You can read the description if you want to try and create your own themes for a track mode, you know, and get all into that. We're actually looking for one file in this download. So what we're going to do is click download. And again, we're going to come up here and you're going to click this link right here. And again, you can check out stuff that he's got a, a MAME config generator, a RetroArch config generator, here's some clones, here's some cool builds they have, and their own ret uh, retro arcade portal. I haven't really had time to test this too much, but it seems pretty cool. So once we have those, we're going to want to go over to the next link in the description, and that is to get your Shad PS4 emulator. Now today's tutorial is for Windows, so I like the QT version, so it has the, the GUI. Uh, you can do command line only, but for this tutorial I'm going to use the GUI. So you'll click it, and it'll start downloading for you. And the next thing that you're going to want to do is go to the FAQ on this website. Just like this. And we're going to scroll down to... My emulator crashes immediately after opening, or just shows the command. So click that, and you want to make sure that you're up to date with your Visual C++. So we're going to click the link here, and then you'll click download here. And you can choose whatever mirror you want to choose. And once you have that file downloaded, It's going to be a zip file, so I'm going to grab it, right click, cut, and I have all of my downloads on my desktop. So I'm going to paste it on my desktop, and the last thing you're going to need is 7-zip. So I'm using 64-bit Windows X64, so you would click download here, and then go ahead and install 7-zip. So step one is to install the Visual C runtimes. So we're going to right click. I'm on Windows 10, so I have 7-zip extract 2. If you're on Windows 11, I believe you have to go to the bottom, click more options, and then it'll let you use 7-zip. So we're going to open up the folder, and we'll double click the install underscore all dot bat. This is going to take you through the whole process. And it'll prompt you for each one. I already have all of these installed. But I'm just going to let it run through here real quick. Okay, so now that we have those installed, we are going to get all of our downloads ready. And I have my Track Mode Plus 7-zip file. I'm going to right-click. I'm on Windows 10. I have 7-zip here. Usually if you're on Windows 11, you'll have a option down here that says uh, more options and then you can go to 7-zip from there. We're going to do extract 2. So you'll click that and you'll get this folder. Shad PS4, we're going to do the same thing. 7-zip, extract 2. And the BLM 2.1c, we're going to right click, 7-zip, extract 2. 
So now we're going to have three seven zips and you'll have these three folders for now. So we're going to go into the BLM folder and you won't have all these files yet but you will have a layout maker 2.1 ct.7z you're going to right click on that 7-zip this time extract here you'll have all these files if you want to use different uh, tools for setting up other aspects of a track mode it's totally up to you for this video we're going to go into the data folder we're going to go into the test build folder and then we're going to go into this first folder dash tools and we have a make.system.folders.bat we're going to right click on that we're going to copy then we can close out this folder we'll go into our track mode plus folder into this tools folder and we're going to paste it so now what we we'll want to do is double click this bat file and I am going to name mine Sony actually you're going to want to do it this way, PS4. You must name it PS4, just like this. Hit enter, then type exit, and hit enter. Now we have a collections folder, so we're going to right click, cut. We're going to go up a folder, so we're in the root of a track mode. Right click on a blank space, and paste. And this is going to give us inside of collections PS4 we're gonna have box art DLC ROM snap wheel now the DLC folder you won't have yet so I recommend creating that so basically you're just gonna right click new folder and then just name that DLC I already have one so I'm just gonna get rid of this folder and for, these will all be empty for now so what we're going to do is minimize our track mode. We're going to take our shad PS4 folder, right click on that. We're going to cut, go back into our track mode folder, into the root. We're going to go into emulators, and then we're going to right click, paste. Now from here, we have to rename this folder. So we're going to go to rename, and all lowercase, just put shad PS4 four just like that so now we're gonna go and open the folder we're gonna open shad ps4.exe it's gonna ask where to install games so we're gonna hit browse and we're gonna go to the root of our track mode folder collections ps4 ROMs now I have a game in here already but you won't just hit select folder like that for the DLC, we're going to do the same, so we're going to go to Browse, then we'll go up a folder so that we can see our DLC folder, double click on that, hit Select Folder, hit OK. Just like so. So I already have a game here, you won't, but we will get to that in a moment. So we're going to hit our cog wheel inside of Shad PS4. I'm going to hit Enable Full Screen. If you want the update channel to be for nightly dev releases, you can do that and check for updates. I know there is one, but I'm just going to not worry about updates in this video. Uh, for the GUI, I basically don't touch anything here. You can update your compatibility database if you want to. Graphics, you can change this to whatever graphics card you're using. Change your username. Uh, this will hide your mouse. We're going to edit these manually in a moment and debug I don't touch so from here we hit apply save and then we're going to exit the emulator we're going to go into our user folder for shad ps4 you'll have a config.toml we're going to right click and if you don't have notepad plus plus you're going to want to hit edit I like using notepad plus plus and for here we want to take everything before collections so we want backslash, backslash, collections, and so on. Go all the way to delete C, and we're going to do dot, dot, backslash, backslash, dot, dot. 
So we have dot dot backslash backslash dot dot backslash backslash collections backslash backslash PS4 backslash backslash ROMs. So what we can do from here just before ROMs is highlight everything just like so. We're going to right click, copy, and then we're going to go just before the word DLC, highlight everything just like so, right click, paste, and there we go. We're good to go here. So we're going to hit save, close, and now we are going to go ahead and go up a folder and actually install a game into Shad PS4. So let's launch up Shad PS4. And we are going to go to File, Install Packages. And I have mine on my desktop. I just have one game here, The Mummy Demastered. So I'm going to open, OK. I'll hit OK. And this game actually has a patch, so I'm going to go to File, Install Packages, Install My Patch. Yes. Okay. So now we can exit out of Shad PS4 and go into our Emulators folder inside of Attract Mode Plus. We're going to right click on an empty space, New Text Document. And we want to call this Sony PlayStation 4. And instead of .txt, we're going to scroll over, get rid of .txt, so just txt. So we have Sony PlayStation 4.cfg. Hit enter. Do you want to change it? Yes. If you can't see your file extension names, go to View and make sure File Name Extensions is checked. So now that we have that, we're going to double click to open it up and it's empty. And for me, I have a file I'm going to copy from. You can copy it from the description of the video. So everything you see from the description of the video, it looks just like this. You're going to want to right click, copy. And then you're going to paste it into your config file. So it'll look just like this when you're done. File, save, close. So now that we have that all set up, let's go into attract mode. And we're going to go into our collections folder. PS4, ROMs. And yours is going to be named with numbers, so it's going to look different than mine, but you're going to want to name this folder, or however many games you have, name your folders based on your games. So I only have the Mummy Demastered, so I rename the folder to the Mummy Demastered. Now we can go ahead and launch up Attract Mode Plus. It's going to ask for your language. I'm doing English. I'll press Enter. Auto detect emulators. I'm going to press enter on no. Now I'm going to go up with my keyboard and press enter on emulators. Sony PlayStation 4, press enter. From here we'll press up until we get to generate collection slash ROM list. I'm going to hit enter on that. One entry done. So we're going to go to scrape artwork right here. Press enter. There we go. So we'll hit escape, escape, escape. So here's our game right here. So we'll press enter on our game. And there it is. So that's how you get Shad PS4 set up within Attract Mode Plus for Windows. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you check out the Pax or Us website more than just one time. they got so much cool stuff on there. My hat's off to all the creators and contributors on that website. They're fantastic. Without all of their stuff, I wouldn't be able to show you what I'm showing you right now. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Have a good day.